Okay, so um, uh, welcome, uh, welcome back. Uh, uh, this is a case of uh, paravalvular leak closure, and we're going to use an Amplatzer cardiac plug, hopefully, uh, for the uh, moderate to severe aortic regurgitation this gentleman has. Uh, he's had previous aortic and mitral valve replacements, and unfortunately both of them have been repaired, replaced again a second time, and he's a surgical turndown for a redo-redo uh, operation. He does, in fact, have a degree of leak on his mitral valve, as well as his aortic valve, and uh, our multidisciplinary meeting has uh, given some serious thought to uh, which of these leaks is the dominant. And so we've had to go back to clinical examination, and uh, he has a collapsing pulse, a blood pressure of 110 over 40, um, and therefore the clinical signs of uh, significant aortic regurgitation. Um, uh, the echocardiogram, I must say, uh, shows uh, significant mitral regurgitation as well, and he may well end up uh, needing a plug on the mitral paravalvular leak, but today uh, we're going to try and sort out what seems to be the clinically dominant lesion. Uh, yep, okay, perfect. So we've seen, um, we've seen the jet. Uh, yep, you can see the, can see you can see the jet right the, there. Yeah. And uh, fortunately, there don't seem to be any other jets. We we'll now go up with the uh, AL1 catheter. The strategy will be to cross uh, what is probably a, a broken stitch there, to leaving that hole, um, then get uh, a... Uh, a sheath of some sort uh, through there, and then we can uh, deploy the device. Nilesh, do you want to talk through the echo? So we start with a full chamber. I've got the mitral valve in the centre, left atrium, left ventricle, intraatrial septum. You can see a jet of eccentric regurgitation coandering up the lateral wall of this left atrium. That comes from um, this aspect of the mitral valve prosthesis. In this view, the appendage is over here. So this is lateral, this is medial, and uh, this is a paraprosthetic leak from the medial aspect of this mitral prosthesis, and it's severe. Do, I've done a 3D full volume with colour, and so if I orientate this into a surgeon's view, so the altar's over here, the appendage will be here, the mitral valve replacement is here, and we're in the left atrium looking down. This is where the paraprosthetic leak in is in terms of the mitral valve. If I just spin it with the eye of faith, you could probably visualize a hole here at around three o'clock. Now, I then moved on to look at the aortic valve. The, the aortic valve is um, a little bit more difficult to assess on TOE. In, in this view, the LBOT view, there's a lot of shielding for the metal mitral valve, and so the colour jet isn't very easy to define. I can see aortic regurgitation here, but there's a lot of artefact here. In the short axis view, so the aortic valve's in the middle here, this is the intraatrial septum, left atrial appendage is over here, so that's around the non cori sinus left and right you can see that there's a significant paraprosthetic aortic regurgitation originating from the region of the left coronary sinus. First attempt is with a straight soft wire. Yeah, use a Can you just get a wire out? We just get yeah, a sure, wire. Uh, yeah. No, no, normal, normal trim. Once we've got the uh, full acquisition, we'll be able to see what our wire is actually doing coming towards the leak, and we can be directed by 3D echo. We've got a 2D image, which we've tried to make as planar as uh, possible, uh, and somewhere in uh, probably a 30-degree arc in the left coronary sinus is where the, uh, the hole is. Um, trying to actually find the hole uh, is, uh, is the first challenge, even though we can, we can see it. It's often a sort of rather rather difficult tract rather than a straight jet. Oh, here we oh, go. Oh, well done. So, here we go, right across. Uh, uh, the hole, it has a stitch in the middle of it, which can be quite difficult to appreciate even on 3D echo. And as long as we're um, through uh, either 
uh, one of the equal size holes, or if they're unequal sizes, the bigger hole, then the device is likely to significantly reduce the amount of aortic regurgitation. So this is the next stage of the procedure where we have to coax this catheter through. Nilesh, can you see anything going through the hole? Yeah, let me just have a look. Or is that the wire, the catheter's just above the hole? Mm. And as is usually the case, uh, it, it doesn't really want to go through. through. I'm exerting some force now, leaving the wire in the ventricle, but uh, let's see, a bit of rotation on the catheter will help it through. Now, uh, because the mitral valve's in the way, it's quite difficult for Nilesh to size up the, the gap. I don't think it's going to be very large, no. but uh, uh, normally I put sort of uh, six by threes or uh, eight by four devices in. The hole is no longer obvious on imaging, is it? That's probably because you're right on top of it and occluding it mm. with the tip of the catheter. And that can often happen. Yeah. It's a good sign. The next move would be that we've got a wire across. So it's not an exchange length uh, uh, wow. wire, so we're going to have difficulty changing over. What I might do is have the catheter very close. So we've got an exchange length straight wire. OK, so if we get that, then we can change over to uh, a slip cath, which uh, uh, is, uh, is a coated catheter, which should be able to squeeze through. The aim is to actually get a catheter through so we can change over to a stiff wire over which we can then get a, a larger sheath through. OK, so we've got that out. Right, so let's take our slip cat. A coated catheter made by Cook, OK, with an introducer which points down to an 018 um, uh, sheath. Now, the 018 sheath, actually, to be honest, is not going to go over the 035 wire. So we'll take the, the other introducer, uh, which is the, uh, the 035 introducer, Sometimes you have to cross with an angioplasty wire, in which case this, uh, this is fine. Uh, we're going to actually put... Right, so stiff and plats of wire, ready to go, yes? Exchange lens. Now, in the slightly taller lesson, oh, no, I think that's going to do that's it. That's it. it, that's okay. slipped through. Yeah. Ample, it's, it's extra stiff wire, please. Yeah, Super yeah. stiff, yeah. Slip this through. Okay, and can we go uh, REO, please? Yeah, okay. Right, so. Uh, mm, okay, that's going in an odd direction, isn't it? It is. Uh, they might just. Uh, we're not into. Curve. We're not into. We haven't kind of sort of crossed into the left atrium or anything, have we? It looks a very peculiar angle uh, for this wire. Let's try LAO. Mm -hmm. 